What is up guys, we are back with some more Fire Emblem and we are here at a cutscene with Dimitri talking to himself. It's not like that, Glenn. I swear it. Any love I once had for my stepsister has been tossed aside. Only hatred remains. If I could tear that woman to shreds right this very moment, I would. I don't care if she's the Emperor. It's no different than killing anyone else. So I beg you, all of you, do not worry about my resolve. Please, father, and you too, stepmother, do not gaze at me with that look in your eyes. I will bring you her head soon, and when I do, you may finally rest in peace. I know it. Yes, I know it. What do you want? I see. We should make haste and prepare to move out at once. I must kill her as soon as possible. I don't have time to leisurely set up camp like the rest of you fools. Pardon the interruption. We must prepare a counterattack at once. The Imperial Army has caught wind of our position. It would seem they were patrolling this place after all. The Imperial Army, is it? Well, well. <laughs> Your Highness, I ask that you please refrain from reckless behavior in battle. It would seem the report that the Knights of Cyrus have returned was accurate. This is going to take some effort. Brother, I heard a rumor that there is a vicious murderer among our enemies. Well, who knows if there's any truth to it? Though I admit we have lost some soldiers recently. Whether he's among them or not, taking on the Knights of Seros is extremely dangerous. You're not ready for the front lines, Flesh. Stay in the back and support us from there. Understood? No! I want to stay with you! I have to- I need you to understand, Flesh. I will come back, I promise. Fine. I trust you, brother. Please. Be safe. Mm -hmm. All units, prepare to attack. Didn't I take Ran uh, Randolph already, though? You. At the monastery at Garrig Mach, the Kingdom Army proceeds to bolster its forces, but the Empire is already one step ahead. An Imperial Vanguard, led by General Randolph, has deduced the location of the Kingdom Army and now advances with the aim of toppling Garrig Mach for a second time. Hmm. I'm just trying to make sure everybody's out here that I want to be out here. Um, I feel like, well, no, I'll keep him out there, but I think as far as like inventory is concerned for Casper, because I kind of want to make him a war master. Um, I feel like I should give this guy some gauntlets so he can punch people in their freaking face, man. As you can see, I barely even buy those gauntlets, too, now that I think about it. 
Um, there was a new axe that I bought. Yeah, the Brave Axe. Because the Brave Axe lets a person attack twice. And I think other than that, there was also a Lance that I got. Damn, this dude has three concoctions on him. Got to rest, so I can't use the Sublime Creator Sword. But no worries, I got a Brave Sword. And I think we'll start the fight. Defended location, so we have. The Knights of Seraphs How many defended locations? Enemy, but we have more soldiers. We'll take them down all at once. Numbers isn't there everything, bro. There are more bro. enemies than expected. Attacking with fire would prove most useful here. You say that after, after I choose Report. my unit, bro. The enemy has entered the periphery of Garrig Mock. Periphery. If we reach the interior. We won't be able to protect the monastery. Drive them back. I feel like I should have made. Um, I should have made Dimitri a knight. A paladin again or something. What's my strategy? Predictable. At your service. I'll cut hmm. through. Can you move up? You can. Ooh, demolished. Oh yeah, let's not destroy that. Wow, still just for that. Okay. Just wait. <laughs> That's what we'll have you do. Just wait there. These guys think they're slick hiding on that side of the building, but let's see what all we're dealing with. Dang, they go really far back. They weren't kidding when they said there was like a lot of enemies. But okay, let's see. How do we? I'll comply. How do we want to play this little game? I'm your girl. What's the plan? Is that it? Yeah, the sooner I get him to, uh, what was it? As soon as I get him to level 30, then I guess, like, I'll work on making him, like, a, the a Weavern uh, Lord. Something like that. My orders. I'd be honored. Oh man, I thought they were going to give me like extra movement, but I guess not. More fighting. Thanks for helping. Yeah, let's move you up more, buddy. The more the merrier. Are you guys gonna make me attack backwards too? Yep. Okay. It is our duty to guide these soldiers to their destination. Stay alert. An attack may come at any time.
You were ready. You're a big help. grow a strong That's just asking to die. Thanks. Wait, who else was left? Ah, totally forgot about her. Uh, I'm kind of hoping I could do like a hit and run. Holy crap! Yeah, let's let's find you over here instead. <laughs> Snap, they took out Ash. Okay, note to self, don't move. Don't move Ash up like that. Fighting. What would be like a good spot? You were ready. I don't 
know why I forget to use the potion with him every freaking time. I'm your girl. How sweet. At your service. I know you want. Crap, like that was not the Ever right time to pay off in the end. have our weapon break. What's the plan? Ready when you are. Hmm. Really wondering how this is going to turn out for her. Okay, sweet. I like that she can heal from like so freaking far. It's pretty freaking clutch. What's my strategy? I'll cut through. Okay, let's see. We got I sacred power. This topic. We're gonna have to look that up and see what a uh, sacred topic does. Old habits die hard. Or sacred, sacred power. I don't know why it's a topic. I think it's because his really dialogue said it. he fully Thanks. understands the topic. Oh no, we are not losing him. Actually, if I move, um, dude up enough. Ready when you are. If I move him up enough, um, how far back can we go? Yeah. Service. It's like all these like hypothetical situations that you have to kind of go through. You saved me. 
So he just gets hectic back here because there's so many of them. I feel like my allies aren't even really doing anything. I'll cut through. I don't know why my guys like staying back like. Oh, we can heal? Oh, oh yeah, I totally forgot. I can heal my guy. <laughs> it's like so many options. Dang it. Not who I want, but I guess I'll. I guess I'll do that. That wasn't what I really wanted to do. I'll comply. Sixty-two. As I expected. My orders. Let me see. She she can move right there. All right. We will wait. More fighting. Just because I'm gonna give him the extra movement. Appreciate it. But, oh, that's going to be clutch to go up against uh, these Falcon Knights. Old habit. I'm really good. Oh yeah, Mercedes. <laughs> I'm like, I keep forgetting who's left back here. I owe you one. I fight. Looking good.
clutch. Safe side. Obvious. Strain myself. <laughs> Knew you could do it. Just return home like this. Professor, get down. Get down. Still a long way to go. A one-eyed demon. So it's you. You're the one who's been going around killing the Imperial troops. What is it to you? You bastard! Life is worthless to you, isn't it? <laughs> you took the words from my mouth, General. With each kill, no, oh, this can't end here. Capture it, it. Definitely can. Fire attack is ready. Now to draw the enemy's attention. So many units, and you still can't defeat us. The Empire's generals are not as formidable as I'd heard. Now! Uh, yikes. A terrible battle. Yet Garrick Mock still stands. Your Highness? Please, I can't die here. A beast of your depravity prattling on about family? How amusing. As though you could understand. Such a thing as love? You heartless monster! You are a monster too, General. You have just yet to realize it. A monster who thinks he's a man. Despicable. As a general, you must have killed countless souls without a shred of mercy. Do you still remember the sound of them begging, just as you're begging now? Or now that your life is at its end, will you hold to the lie that your hands are not stained red with blood? This... this is war. I did what I had to for the Empire, for the people, for my family. 
So, you are piling up corpses for the people and your family. And I am doing the same for the salvation of the dead. After all is said and done, we are both murderers, both stained, both monsters. You're wrong. Am I? I can smell the rotting flesh upon your hands even now, General. Enough! That's enough! I won't kill you right away, my fellow monster. Unless you object to watching your friends die. One by one. If so, Yo, he's I will do you the service of removing your eyes first, so that... Please! Please! Forgive me! Oh yeah, his what little is sister. the meaning of this? Dimitri you once knew is dead. All that remains is the repulsive, blood-stained monster you see before you. If you do not approve of what I have become, then kill me. If you insist that you cannot, then I will continue to use you and your friends until the flesh falls from your bones. Hmm. Think so, buddy? I got the sacred power now, so... We'll see. We managed to repel the Imperial Army, but we remain divided on our next course of action. I anticipate a second and third wave of attack. With our current forces, we'll have our hands full just defending. It's a miracle we managed to repel the Imperial Army with the few units and resources we do have. We should probably contact Rodrigue right away to request backup. Rodrigue is in a difficult position. As he has suffered invasions by the dukedom. But there are troops who share in our cause, gathering in the heart of Fraldarius territory. If we can arrange for them to join us, our forces will grow considerably. Fraldarius. So, Roderick is still alive, is he? So you did. I wonder what my old man will say when he sees you now. That spectacle alone will be worth the trip. Hmm. I've already sent word with our fastest messenger, informing Rodrigue that his highness is alive. But we would do well to send another in case anything happens to the first. With the current state of things, we'll be completely helpless without his support. Your highness, may I ask what your next plan of attack is? Should we dispatch our troops to the kingdom capital? Or to the Imperial Capital. We will take the Imperial Capital. There, I will kill her. We end the war and chase away the lingering regrets of the dead. Nothing could be more to the point. Uh, okay, that dang, bro. True, but don't forget that your people need our help right now. Your Highness, I hate them too. But the citizens of Ferdiad have long awaited your return. Just give it up already. Wasting time thinking about stuff like that will only dull your blade. Defeating Edelgard would put an end to the war. That would benefit the kingdom as well. We still need to look for Lady Rhea. So I agree that we should get to Enbar as fast as possible. Professor, whatever you decide, we shall follow. Ah. Uh... Yes, it is the only way. Either way, we are in need of numbers. It is essential that we secure backup. Part 2. Azure Moon. Pegasus Moon. Valley of Torment. Having repelled the Imperial Vanguard, the Kingdom must now supplement its meager forces. And so it requests reinforcements from Rodrigue. 
who is busy resisting Cornelia's army in Fraldarius territory. That one was a pretty quick one. Normally they take their, their sweet time doing this little uh, chapter chapter overview thingamajiggers, whatever they're called. Chapter intros. We'll call it chapter intros. You made it. We received a reply from my father. You should read it too. Gilbert has filled me in on the details. He tells me you are in immediate need of additional troops. I would like to say that I will gather reinforcements and send them to the monastery at once. However, I cannot afford to leave the front lines for that long. Would you be willing to meet us south of Fraldarius territory in ALL, the Valley of Torment? ALL is halfway between the monastery and our territory. There, I will deliver the soldiers you require. ALL lies on the border between Kingdom territory and Alliance territory. Humans dare not approach that place. He's right. In ALL, we can meet up with them without our enemy ever finding out. Once my old man delivers his soldiers to us, then our war against the Empire can finally begin. The path ahead will be a difficult one, Your Highness. Deadly, in all likelihood. True. But what's the point in wavering now? Father, stepmother, Glenn, and even to do. I am certain this will bring them great joy. I know if I can just offer them Edelgard's head. I just know it. Eilel, the Valley of Torment. Why was it so important that they showed us a soldier repeating that location? Is he a spy? Hmm. Thank you. The things we need to find out. But guys, I'm gonna end off this episode here. I hope you enjoyed that battle. Uh, took quite some time because it was a little trial and error with them taking out people I didn't want them to take out. But luckily, we have divine pulse. I think I have like 12 or 13 divine pulse uses. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video, and also subscribe to my channel if you have yet to do so. And with that said. See you later.